Welcome to day three of the fair for 4-H coverage here on yourliveevent.com. I'm Preston DeVille. Let's go get some interviews with some contestants. And we are here with another 4-H Spotlight. Right now I'm here with Carly. And Carly, you just want to tell me a little bit about yourself, your age, how long you've been in 4-H, different things like that? Um, my name is Carly Sip. I've been in 4-H for 12 years and I am 17. All right, so is this your last year competing or? Uh, no, I have three more years left. Three more years? Alrighty, and then you just want to tell me a little bit about what you're competing in this week? Yep. I am showing two Hereford breeding heifers, one market barrel and a market weather lamb and a breeding lamb. Frank, can you just explain like uh, what it takes to like, let's say show a lamb? Um, patience, um, hard work, and you gotta be willing to put in the work to have the best outcome. All right, you just want to explain like the training process also, like what is like, what do you work on leading up to the fair that makes you like perform? Um, definitely working with your animals, getting them kiss consistent in um, walking and setting upright and getting them used to different environments. And what's your favorite like animal to show? Uh, probably the beef. Alrighty, and uh, I guess it is fair week. You just want to tell us like what's your favorite part of the fair is? Um, just definitely being around in the barn, seeing everybody and just being around everyone. You looking for, are you going to be looking forward to any rides or food also? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite your thing? No. Alrighty, and then I guess just the way we can end it off is just uh, how would you, or what, how would you sell forage to someone who's like interested? In joining, um, it's definitely a fun thing to do, like being with other people and like helping out the community. And it's just a fun environment to be in. Awesome! Thanks for your time today, Carly. Thank you. And we're here with another 4-H spotlight. Here I am with uh, Woodland 4-H Club President uh, Madeline Crompton. And Madeline, just overall, how have you felt things have been going so far? I think things have been going really, really good. Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think of something else to say, but I, I don't know. All right, and in terms of like, uh, how have your, like, I know you said you haven't exactly gone yet, but overall, how have you felt that other groups have done? Um, I think they've done really, really well. Um, I've been helping out uh, giving ribbons to like the horse show that's going on today, and a lot of the kids have done really well and worked with their horses a lot. And how about for the projects, same, it's more of the same thing? Yes, a lot of kids, they do great jobs and with their projects and things like that. And how have you felt like the turnout for these events have gone so far? Pretty well. Um, a lot of kids try really hard and they do good. <laughs> Alrighty, and then yeah, to kind of, just kind of back to like the whole 4-H topic in general, just like... Uh, how would how do you how would how do you think like uh, what should happen to get more kids involved in 4-H? Um, uh, <laughs> that's a hard question, but a lot of I think it's like 4-H is super fun. There's a lot of things you can do in it. Um, it's a great there's a lot of great opportunities that you can that is in 4-H. Um, if you're thinking about joining it, you probably should, or even just try it, trying it out. It's just such a good opportunity. And also, do you just want to highlight some of the events and stuff going on tomorrow and throughout the, the rest of the day? Uh, well, for tomorrow, tomorrow is show day for just about all the livestock. Um, I will be showing beef along with my brothers, and I hope it goes really well. All right, and then kind of like, I know you're probably not in these other ones, but you just want to highlight some of the animals or the shows that will also be going on throughout tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow will also be the swine, uh, sheep, goats, and there's even uh, an alpaca here. I don't know when they're showing that, but it's very fluffy, and I like it a lot. Um, I think I also saw some turkeys. Yeah, and turkeys over there, and rabbits and chickens, and yeah. 
Awesome. And then just just to kind of wrap it up, well, what event are you looking forward to the most tomorrow that you aren't competing in? Um, I like watching like the swine show, the pig shows. Uh, that's always fun. All right, thanks for your time today, Madeline. Thank you. And we are here for another 4-H Spotlight. Today I'm here with Dan. And Dan, you just want to tell me a little bit about yourself. How old are you? How long have you been doing this? Just different things like that. I'm 13. I've been doing this for basically my whole life. What do you show? I show horses, pigs, uh, turkeys. Uh, I'm showing a dog and a cat as well. Awesome. And did you just have you been have you just been participating in the horse show as of late, uh, today? Uh, yeah. How has it gone so far? Pretty good. Alrighty. And in terms of like what what else you're doing? You said you're doing turkeys. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen that before here. Yeah. Is that the is this your first time doing it? Yeah. Or? So like, how does showing a turkey work? I've never seen it before. So can you just explain it a little bit? I don't really know. It's my first year doing it. And so, uh, like, what kind of what kind of training do you have to do to be able to like show a turkey? Well, I mostly just have to memorize how to hold them, and that's it. Alrighty, and then you said you're doing other things also today. Can you explain like what those are? Um, I'm showing a horse. I got pigs to show. Pigs are the most annoying to have to take care of, though. Can you explain why? Uh, they are very hard to clean. Very hard to clean? Yes. And you also said that you're showing a dog and cat later. Is that in the pet show? Yeah. Also at the dog show, too. Do you, you want to tell us a little bit about your dog? Uh, well, he's half great beard and he's one quarter German Shepherd, one quarter Dutch Shepherd. And he loves everyone, basically. <laughs> What's his name? His name's Dollar. Name's what? Dollar. Dollar? Mm hmm Sweet. And then, uh, how long have you been in 4-H? I don't really know. Just, you've just, for as long as you can remember? Pretty yeah. Much. What's your favorite thing about participating in 4-H? I don't really know. It's all fun. <laughs> Alrighty, and then was there anything else you wanted to say before we go? No. Well, thanks for your time today, Dan. And we are here with another 4-H Spotlight. Right now, I am here with Natan. He's just going to tell us a little bit about 4-H, what he's participating in, just different things like that. So yeah, Natan, you just want to tell me what projects or stuff you were working on this year? Um, yeah, sure. So for my projects, I have five animals in the livestock barn. I have a bottle calf, which is going to be shown in open class and FFA. I have a cow-calf pair that is being shown for 4-H. Um, then I have a open breeding heifer for 4-H and a market steer that's in 4-H. Alrighty, can you just tell me what your favorite part about showing livestock is? Um, just the animal itself. It just has something spe special, so special to the animal that it just makes my day. Is there a fav is there an animal you like showing more than the others? Like what's your favorite one? Ooh, that's a hard one. I'm just gonna say this. I love showing all my animals. They are all equal to me. Okay. Good answer. Um, yeah, and then can you just tell me a little bit about 4-H? When did you first start? How long have you been in it? Just that kind of sort of thing? Um, so I started at 4-H, I think maybe back when I was in second grade. I can't remember for sure. But 4-H um, is about helping out your community and doing fun events too. And it's also a learning experience too. Alrighty, I know we just pulled you out from the food stand. Oh, that's is, fine. Is that uh, something uh, you do every year? Is um, it just, can you tell me a little bit about the food stand? Yes, the food stand is actually, we have several other clubs scattered out throughout Norman County. And the club will, a club, I should say, will take part in the food stand. And uh, that's how we fundraise money for all of our events and stuff. Already, you know, all in all your past years in 4-H, what's been your favorite? What's been like the memory that stands out to you most? Um, well, actually, I have two favorite memories that stand out to me. One was last year I started showing animals and livestock, and then my second one was actually just this summer, and it was being a camp counselor at Sand Hill. By the way, to all of you who have kids, I recommend going to it. I'm the best counselor there. <laughs> Alrighty, and was there anything else you wanted to say before we go? Um, I don't think so. Alright, perfect. I'll let you get back to work. Alright, thank you. <laughs>
And we are here for another 4-H Spotlight here in your live event. Today I'm here with Tucker and Corbin. And Tucker, you just want to tell me a little bit about Corbin? Um, he is a Border Collie Australian Shepherd. He is five and we, got, we rescued him from a shelter. How long have you had him? Uh, uh, three years. Alrighty, and like, what's your favorite thing about the about your dog? Like, what makes like, what's some like weird thing that she does that always gets your attention? Um, whenever you try to take a bath, he'll go into a corner and he'll shake his head no. <laughs> and already, what made what? How'd you come up with his name? Um, well, one of my one of um, my mom is a teacher, and one of the kids in her class is named Corbin. So, she, so you, she, you guys named the dog after one of her students? Yes. <laughs> Alrighty, how long have you been in 4-H? Um, I've been in 4-H since... As long as I can, re I, as long as I can remember, <laughs> I can't think back. Is this your first time showing your dog off in the show, or did you show her last year, or show him last year? Uh, this is my first year showing him. Alrighty, and what are you looking forward to most about doing that? Um, Hopefully to <laughs> fix some of his uh, behavior issues, he's kind of struggling around dogs. Ah, I was going to say, he seems pretty calm right now, at least, so that's the thing. Alrighty, and I guess, uh, what's your favorite memory with 4-H so far? Mm, uh, when I got a, uh, when I got three grand champions. Oh, jeez. What'd you get those grand champions in? Um, art. Art? Mm -hmm. I was supposed to say, do you have any projects here this year? Uh, yes, I do, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to explain them a little bit? Um, I have spray paint art that I actually got a grand champion on this year. Awesome. What, what is it of? Uh, it's, a, it's of a planet that I made. So we'll see. We'll have to go check it out later. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, thank you for your time today, Tucker. You're welcome. <laughs> Alright, and we're here with another 4-H spotlight here on your live event. I am here with Star Sterling, and we're here at the Dog and Pet Show. And Sterling, you want to tell me a little bit about your dog? Well, her name is Phoenix, and she is very nice. She likes to do like stuff, and she <laughs> likes to play around. And she loves to like if we give her like toys, she'll love them. She loves squeaky toys, and like like yeah, like squeaky toys, and she she loves like chewing on stuff. How old is she? She is three months old. Oh, gee, so she's really young. Yep, she was born in March. Alrighty, so uh, do you know what kind of dog she is? She's a black lab. A black lab? Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, you just want to tell me what your favorite thing about the dog and pet show is? Um, probably because you get to have fun with your dog and you um, get to um, watch her play around. Well, not play around, but like you get to um, get a, um, like pet her and like do fun stuff. And you get to see other people's dogs and animals. Alrighty, and how long have you been in 4-H? For like four to five years. What's your favorite thing about 4-H? Um, I think because um, I like 4-H because it's really fun. All right, are there any other events you're participating in this week? Um, well, I'm showing sheep, pigs, um, sheep and pigs. Already, are you, how, how much are you looking forward to those? I'm re like really looking forward to it. <laughs> All right, was there anything else you wanted to say before we go? Um, really. Okay, thanks for your time, Sterling. All right, we are here for another Sport 4-H Spotlight. Today here I am here with Dylan, and he's gonna tell me a little bit about his cat the do and the dog and pet show. So yeah, you just want to tell me a little bit about your cat? Uh, she is two and she's a tabby lynx. And uh, we adopted her like, last summer. All right, and what's her name again? Ivy. Ivy, how, how'd you come up with that name? Uh, we were just looking at names and then we found Ivy. Is this your, so is this your first time doing the pet show or no? I've done it for the past two years. And what's been your favorite memory with it so far? Uh, probably this year or two years ago. Okay. And is this, I take it this is the first time this cat, the, or yeah. Ivy's being shown? Yeah. All right. And can you tell me just a little bit about 4-H? Like, what's your favorite memory with 4-H? Uh, probably, like, setting up my stuff and, like, my 4-H stuff and showing it, like, the stuff in the 4-H building. 
And what other uh, activities are you participating in for 4-H this year? Uh, I'm probably going to do like some of like the camp day thingy that they did last uh, year, that I did last year. Alrighty, and it's obviously fair time. You want to tell me what your favorite part about the fair is? Yeah. Oh, the rides with my friends. Are there, okay, so have you been able to scout out the rides already? Yeah. Is there a certain favorite one yet or one that you're eyeing up? Well, we go on like a ton of rides. You go on all of them? Uh-huh. Alrighty, was there anything else you wanted to say before we go? Not really. Awesome. Thanks for your time today, Dylan. Alrighty, we are here with another 4-H Spotlight. Today I'm here with JP and his cat. And you just want to tell me what his name is first? Itty Bitty Pencils. All right, I just have to know. How did you come up with that name? Uh, she was a kitten when we got her, a sick barn cat. So then she was so small and skinny and cute. So then I had to call her a good name, and I gave her Itty Bitty Pencils. She was so small. And do you know what kind of cat she is? Uh, she's a calico. Okay. And uh, can you just tell me a little bit about your cat? Like, is it like what's your favorite thing about her that just makes you that like? Yeah, like what's your your favorite thing about her? My favorite thing about her is that she lets me use her as a pillow at night. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, and then uh, how long have you been in 4-H? Um, ever since kindergarten. Alrighty, so how long has that been? Do you know? Uh, I just finished third grade, so a few years. Alrighty. And what's been your favorite thing about 4-H so far? Um, showing my cat at the fair. <laughs> Is this your first time showing a cat at the fair, or have you done it before? I've done it before. The same cat? Yep. How did you do last time? Good. <laughs> Think you're going to do even better this year? Yep. <laughs> well, I was about to say, I could probably let you go. Looks like your cat doesn't want to be here too long. <laughs> yep. Alrighty, well, thank you for your time today, JP. Okay. And we are here for another 4-H Spotlight, and today I'm here with Sully and his dog, George, at the pet show. And yeah, Sully, you just want to tell me a little bit about your dog? Um, he is half lab, um, half, um, he's half lab, um, uh, he is two years old, and yeah, he's a really great dog. So you had him for two years? Yep. Alrighty, and what, what are some, what's your, some of your favorite things about your dog? Um, he's really nice. Um, when you pet him, he, uh, he kind of wants to sit. Um, he, uh, loves to come up when, uh, and when, when people come, he likes to come up to you. Does he have a favorite chew toy? Um, he did when he was a little puppy, but not, not really now. Hey, what's your dog's favorite thing to do when you're not around? Um, he likes to uh, play, uh, kind of wrestle with his other, with the other dogs at um, the at the ha house. How many other dogs do you have? Um, I have two. Uh, I have uh, there's two more dogs um, with him. Two dogs. Alrighty, and how long have you been in 4-H? Um, um, I would say about five years. And what's been your favorite memory with 4-H so far? Um, have, uh, l having lots of fun at the Norman County Fair. <laughs> okay, was there anything else you wanted to say before we go? Um, not really. All right, thanks for your time today. Yep. And that'll conclude today's 4-H Spotlight interviews here on yearliveevent.com. Be on the lookout for some more interviews coming tomorrow from the 4-H Livestock Shows here at the Norman County Fair.